Not many people have the luxury of building a brand new smart home from scratch, getting to install every piece of home automation technology imaginable exactly how they want it. Many of us live in older houses with electrical wiring from the 1950s and a bunch of existing light fittings already installed in our ceilings and switches installed on our walls. Does that mean we need to replace these with ugly looking smart switches? Or do we need to spend a fortune replacing all of our lights with smart bulbs? Well, you can do that if you want. Or you can use one of these smart relays, which work alongside your existing light switches and your existing light fittings to smartify them. A relay is basically a switch that's turned on electronically by a sensor or a smart home platform. I'll go into a bit more detail about how they work later in this video, but what's great about them is that you can use relays for pretty much anything that is powered electrically, not just lights. You can automate exhaust fans, fountains, pool filters, whatever you want. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that I know about smart relays. I'll show you how they work, I'll take you through some of their pros and cons and things you might need to be aware of, and what features to look for so you get the right one for your house. Let's take a look. So what exactly is a smart relay and how does it work? It's time for some diagrams. Imagine that you have a simple electrical circuit like this one. There's a light switch, and when you turn it on, it closes the circuit and the light turns on. A simple relay is just an electrical version of this switch. When something, like a sensor, smartphone, or home automation platform, tells the relay to turn on, then it closes the circuit and turns on the light. That's how a simple relay works, and this is the kind you'll be looking for if you want to remotely turn on an electrical appliance. There are many different kinds on the market, from small ones designed to sit behind electrical outlets so that you can remotely turn them on, to a bigger, more industrial style one that sits on a DIN rail and powers whole circuits like pool filters or, I don't know, hydroponic lamp arrays? In the smart home world though, we're now seeing a lot of special relays that are designed to work in conjunction with existing switches. These are really interesting because you can place them behind an existing light switch and use it to make any light switch and light bulb smart. This now means that you can continue using your old light switch as normal to turn on and off the lights but you can also use your mobile phone, sensors, or automations to electronically turn on and off those same lights. How the heck does that work? Let's go back to our diagram and take a look at how a normal light switch works with a relay. You can see here that it looks really complicated and there are wires going every which way. I wired up one of these relays into my test rig so that you can see what the wires look like in real life. It looks a bit like something out of the movie The Hurt Locker. What's the best way to go about disarming one of these things? The way you and I, sir. Now is probably a good time to throw in a disclaimer. You should not be messing around with electricity or doing any electrical work unless you are a qualified electrician. Live electricity is dangerous, and if you do something wrong, you may explode. You might kill yourself, kill someone else, or burn down your house. Even if it's legal to do your own electrical work in your country, it may invalidate your home insurance if you mess something up. Call an electrician if you need electrical work done. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, smart relays and switches have lots of wires, and it can look pretty confusing at first until you understand what is going on. And whilst every smart relay is slightly different, the concept generally remains the same, and they work like this. First, we need to provide a way to power the relay itself. Inside the relay is a tiny itty bitty computer that understands how to connect to Wi-Fi or listen to instructions from a smart home platform. This computer needs power, and that is provided by this electrical circuit here. The next part of the circuit is what allows the relay to understand whether or not you've turned on the old light switch. When you flip the light switch, the relay detects a change in that circuit and knows it needs to do something. It then takes care of turning on the light by closing the relay and completing that circuit. It's no longer the light switch that turns the light on and off, it's actually the relay. And this is why you can also electronically turn the light on using a smart home or your voice assistant. Did you see how awesome those diagrams and animations were? The lines moved around and stuff. This guy knows how to use PowerPoint, right? If you thought they were as cool as I did, then hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And whilst you're down there, hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future videos I make with even better diagrams. Anyway. These smart relays do a very similar thing to smart light switches, which I've previously made a video about, 
that have the added benefit of letting you reuse your existing light switches. Because let's face it, most smart switches on the market today either look shit or don't work very well. If you've got a very specific interior design style and have a bunch of beautiful ornate switches that look freaking awesome on your wall that you don't want to replace, then smart relays might be for you. They're also better than using smart light bulbs because they're generally cheaper, especially when you have to replace a lot of them, and they don't lose connection to your smart home system when someone turns them off at the wall. There are some downsides though. It may not be easy to install these relays into the back of your switches if there's not a lot of room inside your junction box. You don't actually have to install them behind your switch though. They can go elsewhere in your circuit and it may be easier to install them in a wall or ceiling cavity if you can get to it, but that may not be an option if you're living in an apartment. Also, a lot of these relays need a neutral wire to work properly, which a lot of people don't have available at their light switches, especially here in the UK. If you're not sure what a neutral wire is, or why that's important, I've explained that in a previous video. Stick around until the end of this video and you'll see a link to my smart switch video which explains it all in more detail. You also need to make sure that you pick a relay that can handle the power rating of whatever device you're turning on and off. Different relays are rated for different levels of current, and if you get it wrong, well that's when your house can burn down. Some relays have special protections built into them to stop them from causing damage if they get overloaded or too hot, so check the specifications before you buy one. The specs should also be able to tell you what other functions are available for that relay. Some things to look out for are power monitoring, which lets you measure how much electricity is being consumed by whatever it is that you're powering. You can then use this to figure out how much that device is costing you to run each day. Something that's becoming increasingly important as energy prices start skyrocketing, especially here in the UK. Some relays might support dimming as well. This lets you dim and brighten the lights using the physical buttons on the wall, or using your smartphone and automations. Different relays also have different numbers of channels, much like the number of gang on a light switch. This lets you control two, three, or more individual circuits from a single relay. And finally, how are you going to communicate with your relay? I personally use Home Assistant, but you'll need to make sure that the ones you buy are compatible with whatever smart home ecosystem that you want to use. Different relays connect using different wireless technologies as well. Some work over Wi-Fi, others use Zigbee, Z-Wave, or even Bluetooth. There are dozens of different combinations available out there, and they will vary depending on the country you're in, the manufacturer you're looking at, and the features that you're looking for. You might have noticed that I've been showing a lot of Shelly devices. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all of these products with my own money because I think Shelly products are absolutely fantastic. I wholeheartedly recommend them to anyone who is looking for a smart relay solution. They even sell these replacement light switches with special brackets that clip onto the back of the switch and are designed to hold the relays in place. They're so freaking cool. Shelly, if you're watching this, why not reach out to me and consider sponsoring a future video of mine? I'm always interested in getting high quality products for free. So that's all that I've learned since I started researching and using smart relays here in my smart home. Are you using anything like this in your home? Let us know in the comments below. I mentioned earlier that smart relays aren't the only way to reuse your existing lights. You can also look at smart switches, and you can find more information about that in this video here. If you found this video useful, then please subscribe to the channel. I regularly release videos like these about smart devices and home automations in general. By subscribing to the channel, you'll see when I put up a new video, and then together we can make your home smarter.